is um, under optimum condition. Well, not so optimum condition. Enzyme that actually is not denatured, it will have its own uh, rate of reaction or velocity. That's why when you have the reaction of this V max, actually V max, but for the purpose of Rubisco as the example, we use VC max. V is the speed of reaction. How much substrate can be um, reacted with for a given second? Uh, the substrate will come in the form of concentration. It can be ppm, it can be millimolar, any unit that shows concentration. Right. So the rate of reaction, or V, stands for velocity, rate of reaction, it will start to go up. So down here you got substrate. It will start to go up until it starts to level off. Okay, so in the first bit here, you will have the the steepest slope. So in this this region, this first region, we say that the enzyme reaction is being limited by substrate concentration. Okay, no matter how much you increase the substrate the steepness of the slope is still not changing. It is still st steep, going up. However, if you keep on adding more and more substrate up to a certain point, this is called the inflection point, meaning that it starts to level off, ready to become plateau, you will see that the rate of reaction stays similar. Even though you keep adding more and more substrate to it. So this is when we start to say the Rubisco has reached its VC max, maximum catalytic rate of Rubisco enzyme. Right. If adding more substrate is not going to increase the reaction any further, is there any way you can increase the VC max? So anyway, you learned this morning, right? The Rubisco, the activity of it actually dependent on, or the kinetic of it, dependent on other factors as well. Not only substrate. Like in this, in this example here, it depends on the substrate, right? What else can control the... Oh, it's too bad screen. What else can control the rate of reaction for Rubisco. Temperature. What is that? High maintenance. Yeah. So when <clears throat> when you um, reduce the temperature, let's say that this is the temperature of 30 degree. Yeah. When you reduce the temperature all the way to 25 degrees Celsius, you will make this is your Rubisco. You will make Rubisco competition either to choose oxygen or CO2 as the substrate to become more inclined towards CO2, meaning that less and less oxygen is available. In here, just because the rate is approaching VC max, doesn't mean that oxygenation is not happening. But at a straight possible because the substrate is not okay. This is your Rubisco. The vicinity of the Rubisco is being overwhelmed by the presence of CO2. So maybe once in a while oxygen gets in, then you get your photorespiration. Yeah. What if the Rubisco is no longer enough to handle the abundance of CO2. 
the only thing left is actually to increase the sensitivity of the rubisco itself right to become more and more deaf to the oxygen how do you achieve that reduce the temperature and more oxygen will be surrounding rubisco to the point oxygen do not have even the slightest chance to get in co2 co2, CO2. CO2. lower temperature more co2 will surround rubisco why is that that has something to do with the biophysical of the leaf you see when the temperature decreases it is cooler right so the plant is not experiencing a uh, tremendous water loss as well as the water potential also in the optimum condition so the stomata can relax it does they don't have to close to conserve the water in the leaf when they relax they keep open all this oxygen that is produced during the light reaction can exit while allowing co2 from the ambience to get into the cells right so you will get more more of this um, carboxylation reaction so this is temperature what else so you can play around with the ph as well and what else can you play with something else look remember recall back in order to fix co2 what else is needed water so you need water actually yeah so hydration yeah so this actually can be achieved by having a higher rh in the surrounding of the plants okay in a way when you increase relative humidity in the plant growth environment that alone will facilitate stomatal opening okay so of course the rh the water is in the form the gaseous form it will get into the plant and that it will cause the leaf to become hydrated and not wilting okay right <clears throat> so what is km km is actually the half of this reaction metallic michaelis menten here so that would be your km value the 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 point where substrate is being flooded to the enzyme and the enzyme is fully occupied by the presence of substrate concentration and if you look at here enzyme a and enzyme b among these two who's going to have um, high km value enzyme a or enzyme b remember okay small km meaning affinity is high large km affinity is low so enzyme a is it low or high affinity low so we expect the km to be high or low it should be the it should be the opposite okay it should be higher compared to the enzyme b you look at here the enzyme b the substrate only four but two out of these four already eaten up by the enzyme compared to enzyme a the substrate is six but only two is is eaten up okay <clears throat> so this is important because um, especially when you grow the plants in the growth chamber in the glass house if um, circulation is not good because you're going to grow your plants in a very dense and packed manner okay if you get in the morning when the photosynthesis is actively happening you get the co2 meter and you put under the canopy you will see that the co2 reading is not going to read 400 it's going to be sub optimal maybe 300 something why because the co2 is highly used actively used by the plant to do carboxylation imagine when there is no air circulation co2 is going down who's going to dominate surrounding rubisco now oxygen 
So you see, photorespiration will happen and then you get all this metabolically wasteful in our eyes, wasteful process from happening, right? Okay, yeah, so I got all the notes here. So welcome back to your Biochem 101. Right, so why this is important? <clears throat> Let's see what else is here. I was hoping for it to, to go straight to this old box one. Yeah. Okay, this paragraph here. Let's see what does it say. In photorespiration, what happens to nitrogen? It enters the paroxysome through the transamination. Remember transamination? You use what? What enzyme you use? It enters with a specific name. Yes. It uses what? It always uses this one compound. You also get Two oxoglutarate, or the other name is alpha ketoglutarate or glutaric acid. There are so many names for it. Synonym, synonym. What are more Okay, so you will have transamination in the paroxysm. So, catalyzed by glutamate glyosylate amino transferase, and then how does it lift? It lifts the mitochondria as ammonium ion. It lifts to go where? It lifts to go back to chloroplast because in the chloroplast, if you go back here, you can see that ammonium plus glutamate, you can get back a new amino acid, really glutamine. So you can appreciate that. <clears throat> Plants do not like to have free floating randoming about ammonium. It will ensure that ammonium get attached to something, be part of a molecule. Okay? It's not like oxygen. Oxygen can just stay around, you know, do do it, minding its own business, a molecule, sometimes a single oxygen, sometimes triple oxygen, sometimes. But nitrogen is very precious. Okay? So the plants need to ensure that this nitrogen is part of something because usually it's amino acid because amino acid will form a protein. Right. Okay. So what does this say? So in summary, this is this bit is very important. In summary, reads what it say. Each oxygenation, meaning that the photorespiratory cycle, one molecule of three phosphoglycerate and 2-phosphoglycolate is produced in the reaction of oxygenation as follow. 2-RUBP plus 3-oxygen plus water plus ATP and also some amount of reduced pyridoxine if you want to go down that rabbit hole to get at the end of the day 3-phosphoglycerate, 3 molecules of that plus CO2 molecule two molecules of inorganic phosphate, ADP, and also reduce, uh, oxidized form of ferridoxin. Do not be estranged by ferridoxin. Why is it in the Kelvin cycle now? Remember, ferridoxin is not bound to thylakoid membrane. It's in the stroma lamellae. Stroma lamellae things are loosely bound. Okay? Right? That's why some, you don't, sometimes you don't always believe what is written, uh, drawn by the textbook. If according to the textbook, ferredoxine embedded to the membrane, actually it's not, okay? It's, it's move, movable, okay? Mobile, mobile, right. Okay, so come the final bit of this le lecture, <coughs> which is a case study. Uh, so there's a... A few stories here actually. Let's we talk about this is in the case of uh, agriculture actually. The production of biomass can be enhanced by re-engineering photorespiration. This is this is the part here. Photorespiratory strategies. So we already know that photorespiration to our eyes, to our interest, that's not very appealing because you don't really get sugar. You just change it from one form to another in order to get back the precursor. And in the process, 
you are losing an, a, a number of precious molecules. You lose ATP, you lose NADH, NADPH. See, you lose two kind of uh, reducing equivalents there, right? Not to mention some of the amino acids need to sacrifice themselves to convert from one, one form to another. Yeah, it's like you want to get married with someone, then you need to convert, but you don't want. Now what? We practice pluralism. So they need to sacrifice a lot. There's so much compromise that needs to happen. Then you also trigger peroxide. Remember? Do you want peroxide to be in your cell? Peroxide is only needed when you want to kill the cell. When the cell is senescing. Okay, you want peroxide, but not at most of the time, only at certain time. Maybe during the autumn time, you see when the leaf uh, fall, the stalk of the leaf that attached, this is the uh, stem, this is the leaf stalk. The leaf can fall because the stalk forming an abscission layer. And this abscission layer, not only due to abscessic acid, most people say, but also due to the death of the cells, thank you to peroxide. Okay, you can use peroxide if you don't have Clorox. Do you know that? Or you want to turn your hair into Naruto hair? You can use peroxide as well. All right. So imagine how busy the plant is to neutralize this peroxide during photorespiration. Not only that it has to recover back the carbon, it has to deal with the toxic chemical. Then it needs to worry about the nitrogen that is free floating now. Right. You are, you are having some kind of, you know, nice story with the neighbor. Suddenly your kids at the next block. You need to, money, 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 money. So many things to worry about. So in the eyes of agriculture, in the eyes of people who are interested with plant biomass, photorespiration needs to be stopped. Period. But for the plants, that needs to happen. Otherwise, the plant will have problems. Okay? So, in this um, box here, there's um, two, actually, a number of strategies that scientists propose to overcome photorespiration. So, in the case study here, it's only presented two. But after the case box i give you the example three example here okay so you can I, I don't want to go to into too much of the written text in the box we can go straight to the the essence of the story how are you going to overcome photorespiration can you do that so the first strategy is actually to have an alternative pathway okay Check. the second is to have the carbon concentrating mechanism, this thing you learned last week. And finally, to have a faster foster respiration, actually. Right. So let's look one by one based on this. Um, can you see? Banan. Based on these um, strategies proposed, even though these are only proposals, actually, some of it have made some success. Okay. They use tobacco plants. Uh, but of course, who's going to turn tobacco into salad? They need to be realistic, kan? But they, when they try to sell it, it's not happening. So that and again. None of this work on the rice, by the way. Good luck. You are playing God complex. Okay. First um, strategy. CCM, carbon concentrating mechanism. Remember last week, you learned about photosynthesis that happens in the bacteria. What bacteria have to concentrate the carbon? The two things. Remember back your 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 lecture notes. This thing, what the mouse Tak sampai sebulan baru minggu lepas. Nee 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 nee. Pi, apa ni? Proses carboxysum. This is for cyanobacteria. For example, two spray nine kotak telan tu. And kalau dia tak ada carboxysum, they can use a special structure called pyranoid. However, this is not for bacteria. This is for chlamydomonas, a type of alga. 
single cell agar chlamydomonas. Yeah, ni chlamydomonas, and this is cyanobacteria. So cyanobacteria have have this carboxy system. So this structure have all this carbon CO two that has dissolved in liquid now. They concentrate on such a structure ni, so that the rubisco kind of tak kenal pun siapa oksigen tu. Macam kau lah segala-galanya bagiku. And the same story goes to the apa uh, pyranoid as well. If you see kan, pyranoid is actually within the chloroplast itself. So immediately when it is fixed, chloroplast uh, have all this metabolic in photosynthesis, Kelvin cycle, will do the carbon reduction and you get your sugar precursor. Okay. Unfortunately, for plants, dia tak ada semua benda ni. Ini bacteria, ini alga. Ada ke nampak pokok ada benda ni? So, some people, this one, I know this is a team from, I don't know, not this one. This uh, first, a few years ago, I saw some some team from Australia. They introduced the gene to make pyranoid into plants. So, they forced the plant to make pyranoid. Kind of work. Kind of work. But, of course, the plants kind of resisting. Macam, tiba-tiba, people inject you to make gene to have another hand. Gene uh, they, 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 they refuse to call it gene. Or this day, they call it gene editing. <laughs> Tomato, tomato, potato, kaki kau, uh, sama je. Right. And the same carbox, carbox system is a bit difficult because originally it was from bacteria. Actually, alga, if you remember the lesson again, alga kind of the same region as the plant, right? Yeah, you kind of uh, adalah bau, 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 bau mempelam somewhere. Alright, okay, let's go back to, to this. Yeah, so look at this. So, by introducing the carboxysome here, the rubisco will have almost zero chance to do oxygenation reaction. That's why oxygenation here, halted. Stop. No. So, don't worry about photorespiration. Yeah. If this is the case, do you need peroxysum to make peroxide? Tak ada lah. Nampak? Semua kosong. See? Actually, uh, phosphoglycolate tak, is not formed at all. So when phosphoglycolate is not formed, there is no reason to recover it back, the carbon that it has stolen. Right. So first strategy. Second strategy, um, faster for, uh, photorespiration. Can you see this bolded line here from glycine to serine that we learned this morning? It will produce a number of compounds, right? It produces CO2. This is where you get your CO2 back. It produces CO2, it produces ammonium, and also it produces the reducing molecule NADH. What's the full name of NADH? Uh, dia tak boleh. Sebab dia H kat ujung tu. Uh, apa? Reduced apa? Reduced nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. So you learned this morning, this compound is also called what? There's a special word for it. Apa? 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 Siapa dapat ni tak ingat ambil exam? Apa? P N. Apa? Apa? Ha. Apa? Apa? Kau dah baru pagi tadi. Tak sampai 6 jam. Apa? Apa? Piridine. Nucleotide. Sebab apa nucleotide? Pyridine tu because of the structure. Satu lagi pyrimidine. Nucleotide because it has the nitrogenous bases. Adenine and nicotinamide tu. Ha. If you think about it, nicotinamide is actually B, vitamin B3. Ha. And kau nak makan gotika denia tu, koko crash mo tu, cek pusing sekejap kotak tu. Macam Oh, nicotinamide. Tapi in uh, nutrition uh, form, human nutrition form, usually is in the form of nicotinic acid. Yeah, nicotinic acid, 
uh, niacinamide, nicotinamide, these are all derivatives of vitamin B3, right? Involved in energy metabolism, right? Okay, so the coming back to here, so in the during the conversion from glycine to serine, you get all these compound. The reason it's bolded here is because it wants to highlight that we can make the plant to express more of the genes that is responsible to make protein to do the conversion from glycine to serine. These steps are all using enzymes, correct? If you, kalau kau dah terlupa sangat, ah, patah balik ke sini. Ni, 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 ni. Ni. Bedek-bedek enzyme ni. Nampak ni. So, if you want to increase glycine to serine conversion, potentially how many enzyme can you increase the production? <coughs> Actually, it start with number five. You can start with number five. Five, six, seven. Five is glutamate glyosylate amino transferase. And then glycine decarboxylase, the GDC2, in active form of it. And then the serine hey, SHMT. Serine hydrocemethyl transferase. You can actually make the plant to turn on the gene because all of these enzymes is protein. Turn on the gene responsible to make this enzyme. When you have more of this enzyme, Theoretically, you can deal more with glycolate produced. So, meaning that more and more of the CO2 that get released back into the environment of the chloroplast and more and more of the nitrogen will be retrieved back uh, to, to be incorporated in any amino acid. So, that's the second strategy. Make it, make it faster, uh, everything. Macam kau lah nak periksa kan, macam mana? Ni, ni dah benak sangat ni. Ayat Yasin je lah. Thinking that it will be helpful. Ha. Tapi kau tak baca buku juga. Macam mana? Compared to your jiran kan, baca buku. Tapi every day, um, semut jus. Ha. Who's going to get it? Right. Okay, finally, the third, the third um, strategy. Alternative pathway. Okay, this is a bit complicated. Tapi tak ada suaman sangat. Um, it, the keyword here is bypass. Dia ambil the uh, photorespiratory bypass from bacteria and then introduce it into plant. So how 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 can it bypass? If you look at here, um, let me see. All the glycolate that is produced during photorespiration in the first in the first reaction, it is not really go all the way to mitochondria. Dia boleh main dekat dalam peroxisome dia and then coming back to the chloroplast. Alright. So it involves some kind of enzyme to bypass these 12 reactions. Alright. Instead of having 12 reactions, you bypass, maybe you remove the uh, mitochondria ROV, so you are left with maybe 9. 9 steps only. Nice. Removing three steps might not sound too much, but in terms of metabolic currency and uh, impact, that is big for the plant. Okay, so things can go faster and less toxic product is formed. And you will get, not you, but the plant can get the sugar precursor more than what they could have been. Okay, so if you want to, this is from a paper actually. I put the link of the paper. You can um, go to the PDF and then click to the link if you want to read this paper. I got the feeling the the guy who wrote this baru mati. This paper, very old guy. Robert apa ni nama dia? Too bad. Yang nak follow sangat, you will follow suit as well. Right. Okay. And finally, enzyme for for plant photorespiration from different ancestors. Um, yeah, this thing. Um. This, this is to show that um, photorespiration is actually an orchestrated 
pathway between or not among various organelles. If you follow back the endosymbiotic theory, this thing, bukankah mitochondrion and chloroplasto from different things altogether in the past? So somewhat along the line of evolution, they have come to an agreement. Macam mana lah. We got problem now on the table, you know, and I'm not going to do everything by myself. Angkau buat tu, kau buat tu, kau buat tu. Uh, so this is an active research going on because people need to understand how these three organelles, plastids, mitochondria, and peroxisome, how come they, they, they know what to do, who, who to give what? Yeah. It, it's all into one goal only, to save the plant from photo inhibition, photo bleaching, and also to, to, to retrieve back the carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, right? So, um, this is not something that we're going to learn, but it's, it's something to, to trigger you to, to think that whatever the plant is doing is way more complicated than ourselves, okay? Do you have chloroplast? Yeah. Macam biru dah aku tengok. Right. Okay. Yeah. So this is something that I have mentioned this morning. So something that you can read. Ah, see? Yes. It tells you about the C1 metabolism. So up to this point, you have learned about C3, which is the Kelvin cycle. You have learned about the C2 cycle, which is the photorespiration. Now you have learned about the C1. Uh, how many C are there? <laughs> So after you come back from your semester break, you're going to see how many C? C4. Lagi? C. <laughs> Cam. Uh, ada C5? C5 that will be a bomb lah. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Siapa so, nak buat quiz? Buat lah quiz. Senang je. Okay. I'll give you five minutes. Um, boleh tak aku nak peti sesiapa untuk jawab? Apa, 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 apa? Easy. That's it. Eh, lupa minum air. Penyak bawa. Siap. Boleh tiru, boleh tiru. If you if if your friend going to hold you follow suit. Kan? Ooh, tengok walaupun aku dah minum macam-macam. 
Oke, okay, nah Belum So, siapa confidence mo betul? Want to share with Want to share with the class your answer? Alah, very easy For the respiration je pun Bukannya mitochondrial uh, Oxidative Phosphorylation pun Very easy Okay, number one Which organelle are involved in photorespiration. Ya ke? Tapi that doesn't look like the right sequence. Oh, Tak tahu. Is it a trick question? The, the the question do not specify in the sequence. They just ask for the organelles involved. All right? So this is uh, no actually this is good the question made it this way so that I can highlight one point whatever compounds that have been produced in any of these organelles like for example glycolate is first first form in the chloroplast and then you got glycine first form in the peroxisome and then you got serine first form in uh, uh, mitochondria doesn't mean that they cannot come from the cytoplasm Right. If you look at your note here, you can see that this compound need to exit and to enter and to exit and to enter again. They have to go through all of these doors and portals. Okay. Meaning that at any point, maybe there is no involvement of chloroplast. Maybe the glycolate already from, from the outside. Right. And maybe it's not it's it's not needed the um, serine from the mitochondria because the serine is actually from the cytoplasm. Skip the mitochondria, then no none of this reaction, just this reaction here on the right. Okay, so that's that's why um, uh, the sequence is not important here. As long as you know the path, the sequence is important but not in terms of the the actuality of the photorespiration okay right okay num number two what is the correct order of conversion of two phosphoglycolate during photorespiration super super easy right a what is it um two phosphoglycolate to become glycolate Okay, cepat. Apa benda nama enzim yang break down to phosphoglycolate to glycolate? Tak acik lah tengok. Aku, ada kau nampak aku tengok? Apa, 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 apa? What? To phosphoglycolate to become glycolate. Do you need, you need what enzyme? Phosphatase. Phosphatase. Can remove phosphate tu to become glycolate je. So, the enzyme... Wajib, mandatory, has the name phosphatase, meaning to dephosphorylate, remove phosphate from the molecule. And since the, the molecule here is glycolate, that's why the name glycolate phosphatase. Okay, then to glycine. Hmm. Is that a straight answer or actually something is missing from glycolate to glycine? Actually, what happens first? Glycolate straight to glycine or do you something else? Okay, glycine, uh, gly glycolate will be converted to? Gly 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 what? Glyosylate. Glyosylate will be converted to? Glycine. Okay, then glycine go to? Serine. Is that, is that a linear thing? No. Why? Why not linear? In case you are forgotten, that story about glycine to serine 
is actually on this slide here. Uh, mandi ke slide ni. Ni. This slide here. The oxygenation of Rebulus 1.5 bisphosphate sets in motion. Okay. It tells you uh, glycine to serine is not a linear story. Something needs to get activated first before serine can be produced. Okay. And I, I want to highlight this because this is where you get your C1 metabolism. And baru belajar C1. Right. All right. Okay. Uh, then after that to serine and then back to glycerate. So what is missing in between from this answer here? It goes from serine straight, straight to glycerate. What's missing there in between? Serine needs to be converted to hydroxypyruvate. And then hydroxypyruvate go back to glycerate. Yeah. Can regular Kelvin cycle already using glycerate? Can it or can it not? Tak ready lagi. The glycerate needs to be phosphorylated two times before it can enter the first phase of Kelvin cycle. The first time, glycerate is phosphorylated. What is the enzyme? Enzyme that add. Just now you learned about enzyme that remove phosphatase. Phosphatase. This time, enzyme that adds phosphorus, phosphate, kinase. Remember, no matter, even in human, even in animal, the moment the enzyme adds phosphate group, phosphorylation, it is always kinase. Always. Kau pergilah kat mana pun, Mongolia, uh, school, school of disagreement pun, it's still called kinase. Okay. But it needs to be phosphorylated two times, this, this glycerate. It, phos it gets phosphorylated one time, it becomes 3 phosphoglycerate. It gets uh, phosphorylated again to become 1 3 bis phosphoglycerate. And then it gets reduced, you will get your sugar precursor, glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate. Habis lah kau, macam ingat lah. That is actually in the last week note. I don't bring it. This la, this la. Very easy, very easy. Okay, number three. What are the product of oxygenous activity or visco or rebulose 1, 5, Ah, oh, super easy. Apa? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. So, one molecule each of 3 phosphoglycerate and 2 phosphoglycerate. Okay. The 3 and the 2 do not indicate the number of the molecule. It indicates the carbon. Okay. 3 carbon and 2 carbon. Right. That's why this is the start of C2 cycle or photorespiration. Number four, which of the following atoms are involved in the photorespiration cycle? Ah, super easy. Aku cakap tadi. Apa? Carbon, oxygen, nitrogen. What about phosphorus? Ada tak? Is there any phosphorus that get retrieved or saved from losing? If you think about it, there is no need. Why? If it's losing, then that's why. Uh, photorespiration is all about losing because you, you want to save something. Why it's okay to lose the ph phosphate, the phosphorus here? Because plants can make lots of ATP. The light reaction, remember? The stronger the light, the faster the Z scheme the more ATP will be produced. That is that scheme. Then you have another cycle. What's that? Cyclic photophosphorylation. You get extra ATP there. So this is not about saving phosphorus. This is about using phosphorus to save other people. Kan? Kind of macam macam kau lah. Kan? Macam anak dah ramai. Macam, ah tak apalah. Biarlah dia buat semua kerja. Kan? Engkau pun kau pergi mana pun kan? Ya. Yeah. Alright, number five. And then mouse. What kinetic properties balance the Kelvin cycle and photorespiration? Bau cakap gerpain tadi. Apa? 
temperature carbon dioxide eh dua je rubisco atau This is about to balance photorespiration and Kelvin cycle. Who are involved in this story? Oxygen, CO2, lagi? Rubisco, sebab that's the enzyme. And temperature. What's missing here is the pH. Okay. What about phosphate? Any, anybody wants to, to take phosphate into consideration? See, nobody cares about the phosphate, right? Nobody cares about the phosphate, but because they know phosphate, it's okay, we can make more of you. Yeah. However, I'll tell you one thing. Among all the, like you go to the, the fertilizer budget, right? People talking about NPK, right? Among all of these major macronutrient, the most worrisome is actually phosphorus because our planet do not have phosphate cycle. The whole of our planet has the nitrogen cycle. And we go from here, animal mati, jadi compost, you eat the vegetable, bila semua become gas, nitrogen again. Phosphate purely come from the stone, from the batu. If the batu is gone, aku lagi mana? Uranus. <laughs> Mana aku nak pergi? <laughs> Alright, okay. The same story is, but, but uh, potassium is okay. Potassium is, is actually, I think the percentage is a bit more. Yeah. Phosphate. Dia, dia will come to the point, I think about 30 years from now, half of what we have now. The, the industrial revolution just started about 200 years ago, kan? Now, at 50 years from now, 250 years ago, you have consumed half of the phosphate in the rock. That's how hungry and greedy humans are. And in color too. So, how to do? What to do? <laughs> can, can you create phosphate, phosphorus, uh, dalam kilang? Is there any chemical reaction or, 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 or process to do it? Tak boleh. Nitrogen, yes, you got a harbor, harbor plus, uh, reaction. You can, you can do that. Phosphate, tak boleh. Yeah. You need to go over and over again, back and forth to the Santa, Santa Claus pula. Apa ni? Christmas Island. Kan? Ketuk, ketuk, u, ni uli bu, bawa balik. Ketuk, bawa balik. Ketuk, bawa balik. Ketuk, bawa balik. One day, will come to the point, there's nothing to ketuk anymore. What's left is the Santa. So, it's worrying, right? Yeah. So, macam mana? Uh, <laughs> beli phosphate banyak-banyak simpan. <laughs> <laughs> Sebab nanti harga dia mahal. Uh, fertilizer increasing in price tau. Like like so crazy these days. Right. Right. <clears throat> that, um, I, that's, that's, that's why scientists are more and more into creating plants that is very efficient in use, utilizing phosphate as well. Yeah, and they are trying to retrieve all this phosphate from the sewage in the sea. Gather kan balik apa benda semua kan. Uh, so 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 that we don't rely on the knocking on the rock. Right. Okay. Right. So that's very easy. Uh, I think that's a summary. That's for you to read. Okay. So that's all for today's uh, lesson, photorespiration. So you learn about all of this. Uh, um, the, <laughs> the dual nature of Rubisco is not really a good thing, actually. Yeah. So what do you think about photorespiration now that, now that you have learned? Although you have forgotten 80% of it since this morning. <laughs> do you think it's wasteful? Do you think it's it's vital? What do you think? Complicated. Complicated? <laughs> Kenapa complicated? Very easy. Tengok nota aku sangat colourful. Kau pergi kelas lain, ada bagi nota colourful macam ni. Why? So, 
this is the holy grail in in agriculture whoever ini kalau buku buat buatlah kau tak berjaya pada muka <laughs> whoever find something to suppress photorespiration be it spray be it fertilizer be it hormone or anything that would be the richest man ever for a very long time seven keturunan to the power of seven because guess what all the commodity crop c3 and people are trying to change c3 into c4 now but that's not luck so much about it and it has gone uh, i think the time has lapsed about 20 years now because they're changing from rice rice is three c3 right so bill gets fund the, the project to convert c3 rice into c4 i just talked to the to the to the scientists involved in this so far they have gotten is they managed to introduce the enzyme into the cells and the protein is made but the protein is not doing the job correctly because in the c4 pathway it needs to go from one cell to another cell it's not within one cell only so the plants that they engineer kind of the game macam kau orang suruh keluar tak nak yeah so they kind of start they have reached the first milestone which is getting the correct architecture the crunch anatomy of the c4 that they got but to get the biochemical pathway to follow the regular c4 route that is not happening according to the those who study evolution plant took about 60 million years ago to evolve this you want to do this in 10 years right. unless you got that that apa kind of remote yang ada jam-jam tu kan masuk pokok huh. nah c4 rice <laughs> even if you manage to turn the c4 rice there is no guarantee the rice that has high photosynthesis will be translated into heavier seed grain sebab banyak pokok high photosynthesis but the sugar is not transported to the sink it just stay in the leaf <laughs> kenapa urat tak cukup <laughs> the piping system is not that good yeah so uh, uh, buatlah baja anti photorespiration is it do do doable think about it is it doable can you do something about it Nanti malam sebelum tidur, go back home, ambil ni letak bawah bantal. Ni ni ni, gambar ni. Alright, okay, any question? Before we briefly go another half an hour to the lab session. Any question? Any objection? Regret? Despair? Unsettling feeling? Traumatized damage? Hmm. Yes, H2O2 is actually a signaling molecule during stress period. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. To to rehydrate the cell. Yeah. However, that's very limited. Plus, it uses catalyst. Plants have thousand millions of enzyme to do they cannot make all into catalyst catalyst is the enzyme that uh, convert uh, uh, peroxide into hydrogen and water right you have catalyst as well in you right i wanna <laughs> <laughs> you got catalyst as well ah cari cari wanna 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 so um, if you learn about signaling molecule, I'm still gonna kan? Nak kau ajar. There are many molecules that plant use to signal stress. Stress can be from a biotic stress, biotic stress, to tell the rest of the plant something is happening. Fire, 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 banjir, 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 strong wind, so many. So this signaling molecule, one of them is actually peroxide. Yeah. Peroxide. There are many uh, animal It can it, uh, it can be uh, apa? Uh, ROS, single oxygen, uh, reactive oxygen species. It can be calcium. Uh, it can be micro RNA. Yes. Uh, Jangan kau tak tahu dalam batang tu kadang-kadang boleh jumpa RNA. RNA can move. Okay, it's not only dalam nucleus tu aja. It can move.
dalam uh, vascular system tu My, micro RNA bukan RNA yang benar tu uh, baik kau hak tarik sekali kromosom keluar <laughs> kan betul tersimpa mati kat situ <laughs> ok right ada lagi soalan happy happy we need to put this dekat dalam channel sebab aku, aku tak rasa orang belajar sama benda ni kan <laughs> so si do feel a bit privileged because whatever that you learn is this is quite the latest uh, I can assure you uh, Cambridge semester ni pun tak belajar ni lagi especially the simporter and transporter pagi tadi tu bile acid sodium dengan plastidyl glycolic glycerate tu that's that's quite recent that's quite recent okay ke nak baru lagi <laughs> okay alright alright okay so let's talk about your pagi tadi So what, what happened this morning after class? Sekejap. What did you do? Pray. Eh dah habis ke? Dah. Hmm. What happened? What did you do? Buat tak tahu. Buat treatment. Treatment apa? So you have three um apa nama? Tray. How many polybag in the tray? Two? Thirty-two. So you got T1, T2. Kenapa uneven my, my uh, rectangle ni? T1. So what is T1? Control. Memanglah control apa benda. So this is actually control lah. So the green solution, right? One liter plus... H2O, 1 liter. Um, if you were to turn this into publication, you need to tell people tau, the water that you use ni is actually tap hard water. It's not filtered. Because sekarang, sekarang ni ramai orang dekat ladang, they put a uh, filter. Filter yang macam tong scuba tu. Uh, because the water that we get from the mains is called hard water. Not that bad. Our country kind of okay. But if you go to country yang teruk, London, itu je yang aku tahu. They actually to the point, pipe tu got lime scale. Because the water contains high concentration of mineral. Kan? So, at least tak payah beli supplement. Nak nak calcium, ambil dekat-dekat pipe tu. Alright. Green solution. Um, Just to to revise back, green solution ada apa? What do you have in the green solution? This is the base, okay? What do you have? MPK green. 16, 16, 16. PE. Ah, What's it? 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 What's Calcium silica. Alright, so this is the basic of it. Okay, right. Coming back to here, treatment two. What do you have? So, okay, green solution. Tambah satu liter. Apa? Kupron. Macam ni je. F. F O S. Kena makan dia kan ni. Kan. Kan. Phosphiron. Tak tahulah. Eh je lah nanti macam mana. Uh, what's in the phosphiron? Apa benda? The phosphiron ni satu liter. Ada, ada apa dalam ni? Apa? Eh, engkau yang buat pagi tadi. Cepatlah. Apa? Copper. Berapa? 5%. Lagi? And? 13. Lagi? P2O5 phosphate 2 29. 0.5? Apa 0.5? 29.5? Okay. Did you put water seed? Tambah water seed. Berapa banyak water seed? Water seed kena bagi tahu. Berapa? 0.5 5%. So, this is all volume by volume, right? Okay. And finally, T3. 
Alah malasnya aku tulis aku tahu ni panjang. One liter green solution tambah micro brew. Can I call it? I just want to name it this way. Ah, ada apa dalam micro brew ni? Ada apa? Ah, ni nak belajar hari ni. Ada apa? Ada apa? Ada apa dalam micro brew? Tak nak, tak nak tolong aku ke ajar? Bukan korang baru buat ke? Penat, penat aku ajar. Apa dia? Ada fish. Fish fertilizer. Fish fertilizer. Okay, emulsion. Hmm. Tengok. Baru biar tak bertiga saat dah salah. So, for me, uh, we prepare the 10 liter. So, this recipe is for 10 liter. So, nanti boleh 10 liter lah. So, dalam ni ada 100 gram. Hmm, maipik, maipik. So, uh, Then plus 100 gram of molasses from the saddle. Bukan kau pronounce molasses ke? That's you. That's what your uncle did to you, right? And then, uh, this is the original recipe, but we tambah lagi Uh, to me, uh, the fertilizer compost. Berapa? Uh, one kilo. One kilo. Yeah, ke? Bukan 5 gram ke? Sekilo, sungguh? Oh, no, tak. <laughs> <laughs> Patutlah bau kuat sangat. You are the culprit, actually. Compost Apa fish emulsion <coughs> Okay if you want to to wash back something nanti we this this actually a uh, two things that has been hybridized into one product Actually for this class this micro micro brew is actually a product yang kita saja cipta untuk kelas It's a separate thing satu is the micro care product tu Then we infuse with the technique of compost tea. Compost tea. Compost tea is a technique where when you have a compost that you get commercially or you have it on your own, you prepare the, the compost by brewing it into a tea or fertilizer solution. Okay, so you have a compost, put it in the bag, porous bag, and then put this bag into... Um, container fill in the water in the water you put all the food that will help the microbes to replicate within 40 hours you must have nitrogen source you must have carbon source so for the carbon source ch source this is the source the sugar molasses and for the nitrogen source we use Fish emulsion, this. Okay. Okay. Anybody who's trying to do not get anorexic ne ne nervosa, buka ni, cuba kau makan. <laughs> Confirm keluar balik lunch tadi. Okay. So, what we're going to learn tadi, ini, uh, because the phosphorus is very easy to do, this thing. Okay. Siapa nak tengok? Bawa lah atas ni. Hai. <laughs> Aku kena buat. Penatlah aku tunjuk. Nak kecil sikit. Um, buat di atas tu. Buat di atas tu. Demo, 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 demo. When you learn this kind, you can go to any of your mak ngah and mak lang that have a very fertile land. Curi dia punya mikro buat balik. Apa kau buat? Apa? So do you have the water? Ah, uh, pergi lah isi. Can you help untuk pergi isi air? Isi sikit saja. Isi uh, tak tahu lah lima ke. Ah, <laughs> uh, we we do half of it. Tolong pergi silam ni. 
5 liter air suling. Remember, okay, you cannot use air tap water because our tap water got fluorine and chlorine. That will bunuh bacteria. Ada insulin uh, all the way dekat corner tu. Ni yang EN tu. Ya. Maybe you can help untuk ni weigh the the ni uh, half of the recipe sebab kita guna 5 liter saja. Hmm, prepare ni. Compost fertilizer tu tu dia nak kilo. Lima ratus. Buka le lampu bye. Uh, kau buat kerja gelap-gelap. Okay, your friend is filling the water. Lepas tu, the rest of you ambil ni. The solution dan juga molester dan juga kompos. Timbangkan dia. Tunjuk kat dia nak buat apa? Hmm. Apa? Siapa mati? Siapa mati? Ada nak kena ke ni. Susah kan pasal yang Tak, tak tengok email hari ni. Tak baca serius. Kelah. Ni. Dia nak jumpa kau sebab yang ini dia tak guna buat collaboration. Pasal dia invite kau untuk jumpa dia orang. So, invite siapa? Tak suruh email aku? Tak ada. Dia suruh aku beritahu kau. Siapa ni? Siapa? Sarah. Lepas tu, kalau kau nak aku pergilah. Aku, Benda, aku menyampaikan. Benda-benda macam tu email lah. Aku, aku Sebenarnya kan aku aku jabatan sentiasa ada benda ni tau. Sebab dia orang sentiasa email aku. <laughs> tak im, email dia bagus ni email ni. Bila kau letak waktu ke situ dia macam automatik tunggu masuk kalender aku walaupun aku tak tekan. Ni Umar ni bawa kampung mana pula? Hari tu dah bawa my 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 dah pada channel mana mah? <laughs> Apa kait, apa siapa ni Sarah? Sarah. Sarah dia dia macam organizer bila benda orang datang-datang. Dia pula bawa orang kampung mana ni? Ha. Dia nak tenteng macam. Ya aku nak buat apa? Ya. I wonder dia guna ikan apa. Maybe salmon sebab mahal. Dia usually this kind of product they use sea fish. Dia tak guna ikan sungai. Sea fish dia lagi nutrient banyak ni. Kan bilis? Hmm. Apa beza budu dengan cacaluk? Sampai sekarang aku tak boleh register dalam kepala. Siapa udah? Oh udah. Ah, apa siapa ingat benda tu benda yang sama? So budu is ikan bilis. Cacaluk is udah. Boleh Hmm, hmm, tak apalah <laughs> Rasa rasa apa? Masin <laughs> Sebab dia seafood <laughs> rasa, rasa rasa apa? Masin lah You know If you if, if you get to mingle dengan international student kan All culture dalam dunia ni Mesti ada satu, satu benda Benda busuk dia suka makan Kan? Macam Malaysia ada benda busuk dia. You go to Chinese, dia ada the stinky tofu. You go to Norway dengan Finland, dia ada straw-straw mengzeng benda ikan busuk gila tu. Semua, semua bangsa dengan dunia ni ada makanan busuk dia suka. Uh, apa tu? Uh, pa, pa, apa tu? Uh, Hajis. Ah, yang hitam tu. Dia guna pig punya blood untuk buat. Ya. Yeah. Hmm, hmm. Bukan, 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 bukan ikan. Ikan tu ada satu kat sauce. Apa tu? Worcestershire sauce tu. <laughs> Itu ikan. Ferment 6 bulan sampai meletup barrel tu. <laughs> Sebab bau teruk sangat. So semua semua race ada makanan busuk yang dia suka. Sebenarnya busuk kat kita dia okey je. Dia dah biasa. Sebab dia dah biasa. 
<laughs> yes, yes, ah, uh, macam durian. Ya. Yeah. Ada je orang Malaysia yang tak boleh tahan durian bau. Dia pening. Apa? Aku buka boleh, aku jangan tak makan je. You can use your hand, it's just sugar. Tapi kau jangan calik mulut pula lepas tu. That's not choki-choki. Bila kau bagi ajaran kan, mesti kelang kabut. Asal kalau aku bagi elok, je smooth saja. Uh, tak pasal-pasal intern lah waktu lab kan <laughs> Belajar about compose When I revisit your syllabus kan Then I ask your friends tak BSP orang hati culture langsung tak belajar about compose Tak ada langsung tahu compose tu apa How come petani yang tak belajar compose So bad hmm. Ada benda nak ni tak Jangan guna tangan kau. Ada kayu ke sudu panjang ke? Turn on the bubbler. So kita ada bubbler, gunakan batu aquarium ni. Tak ada letak sini dulu nanti. Nanti kita tinggal kat dalam tu. Itu bukan ilmi punya hmm. That product nanti ambil gambar Because this is a compost starter nama dia Compost starter. So if you have a compost, if you do not have microbes, compost akan jadi. So usually when you have all the scrap from the kitchen, scrap from the garden, you need a starter to break down this. So produk macam ni boleh guna. Tapi kalau tak ada, you go back to your um, maknah yang uh, pokok subur tu, still, still some soil, Ah, uh, bring back to home. Berapa gram? Sepuluh? Takkan sepuluh? Lima liter Separuh bukan patut Lima ratus gram ke? The compost Lima ratus gram Ah itu ah, okay. Itu itu sepuluh Kenapalah tak guna weighing scale yang tu Untuk lima ratus gram macam mana ni kau pernah masak tak kat dapur <laughs> mana, mana laundry bag ah nanti tak tu tak ada yang baru reuse balik <laughs> yang pagi tadi Eh, tak ada cara masuk dalam. Eh, kenapa ni? Dia masuk ke dalam Dia punya scan dia masuk dalam ni. Dia kali. Oh, lepas tu terceluk dalam tu. Buka, buka bag tu masuk dalam tu. Okay. Remember, okay, this is actually two method. We hybrid us into one. Selalunya orang satu je. Either micro care ataupun itu je. Tak, tak, tak ingat. Oh, boleh lah kot. Fish emotion. Fish emotion. <laughs> Yang ini pun dia blend. Lepas tu dia peram. Lepas tu dia biarkan benda tu menapai sekejap. Untuk dia dapat tu. Oh yang ni tak tahulah kalau ikan tu darah tinggi. <laughs> kalau kalau garam banyak nanti mati microbes. Dia apa ni? Air tu keluar daripada mikrob tu. Kalau yang bagi 
Actually, uh, kalau produk amino acids in the agriculture shop, itu comes from seaweed. Seaweed. Ya, yeah, amino acids. Dia ada trace elements and fulvic acid but usually from seaweeds. Yeah. So, kalau tak ada fish emulsion, you can use also use alternative. Kalau buat sendiri, you can use bone meal, blood meal, feathers meal yang hang tak dapat tu. <laughs> yeah, semua meal. Or, kau, ke, kau what, apa? Agar hat bangun ni kau kopik banyak keperikan bilih. Ha, ah, guna keperikan bilih tu. Apa benda ni? Nastur. Bukan tadi ada tu. Guna je lah sudu tu. Sebab nanti benda ni akan stirring kan? Masuk. Ah, masuk. Masuk. Ah, Tepuk-tepuk kan? So, my micro dalam dia ada empat species. Two fungus, two bacteria. Okay. Dalam ni pun ada species. Hmm. Kata, tak ada, saya tak ada uh, kompos ni tapi saya ada vitagen. Abu lah. Um, sebab uh, tak nanti habis lah air sebab kita nak filter siap siap the micro boleh exit back tu tapi kita tak nak fiber tu kalau tak sadar tu aku tak nak ha. dah plaster goyang 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 okay. kau nak guna rotan aku Kenapa lah? Guna lah. <laughs> Kuatan aku juga eh mangsa. Okay, duster tu masuk the apa tu, compost maker. Run back tu. Lepas tu masukkan bubbler. Ya, yeah. ah, gunakan air tu untuk rinse. Air dia jugalah. Remember, okay, jangan guna air paip. Kalau tak ada, pergi supermarket beli RO water tu. Mineral water ke? Chlorine, fluorine kills the microbe. Ya. Yeah. So, nampak dia bubbler tu. So, boleh lah ambil gambar. So, whatever that you... Um, apply pagi tadi is actually this thing that they prepared on Saturday 40 jam lah so bila dia dah jadi you will get your starbuck froth kat top kalau biar lagi lama kan boleh keluar kita, rap, kita bangunkan kita multiply lepas tu kita bagi dia break down the components dalam ni Supaya dia jadi bio available, pokok jumpa terus ambil. Sebab some of this, kalau terus bagi dekat tanaman, dia kena breakdown dulu. Siapa breakdown? Cuaca lah semua. And the micro in the soil. Ya, yeah, tapi kalau dalam ni, masa dia tengah-tengah parti nak buat anak tu, dia pecahkan sekali. So when they do that, you will get the, all this bubble sebab CO tu lah. Happy, happy. So boleh boleh multiply lagi? Boleh. Tambah lagi carbon, tambah lagi nitrogen. The more carbon, the more nitrogen you put in there, lagi banyak population colony itu akan terbentuk. And if you have, katalah satu ekor nak spray kan, double, double up. Uh, bubbler ni is actually boleh tapi kena uh, selalu kacau. Cuma kalau selalu kacau ni, unless kalau kau insomnia tak tidur 6 tahun, tak takpelah. Huh. Sebab you need to do it for 40 hours. Yes, yes, yeah. Meaning that all these microbes, aerobic microbes. Anaerobic, don't worry. Dia default dalam tanah. Yep. So, bagi oksigen, it will multiply and you will get uh, not only the microbes, you will get bioavailable nutrients. Sebab, you want to tell something about the compost? Humic substances. Hmm, betul lupa. Nak cakap apa? Ha, tak ingat lah maksudnya. Compose ada a special thing. We call it humic substances. Okay. Humic substances ni ada tiga. Apa? Yeah. So these things 
has been shown to strengthen plant's immunity, facilitate nutrient uptake, uh, growth hormones, macam-macam. Okay, so dia boleh dapat daripada ni. The best is actually the the oldest compost. So when you buy fulvic acid semua tu kan, they actually got the compost from million of years ago somewhere. Dia ada kat few tempat dalam dunia ni, kat Utah ada satu, kau kau tanya Utah kat mana kan? Kat, kat US. Dia ada dekat Brazil ada satu, ada a few. Kat Malaysia tak ada? Tak ada. <laughs> Sebab kita punya tropika ni high uh, weathering cepat. Dia tak sempat nak uh, bertimbun-timbun. So they turn this into product. So dekat dekat produk pertanian dia akan label lah. Fulvic acid, humic acid. Uh, ataupun the combination of the two. Humic tu selalunya uh, tak ada, tak sempat nak ni. Yep, yep, yep. So can can you, can you eat this thing? Actually, actually more and more people is actually eating fulvic acid dengan humic acid, especially athlete. Okay, because it, it has been shown to strengthen mitochondria. You see, when your mitochondria is strong, the rest of your body uh, will follow what the mitochondria can do. Yeah. Kenapa? Sebab dalam fulvic acid ni selalunya dia ada all the trace element yang naturally tak ada dalam sayur biasa. You see? You know your, the the pink salt Himalaya tu? People claim like got 80, 80, 80, 80 minerals right? Well, you ke? <laughs> so fulvic acid got that thing. Yeah. Okay, so uh, ini je lah kot. Right. Uh, is that clear? Any question? All good? All good? All good? So ini just to give you the demo of it. Nanti kita simpan dalam ni lah. Then we wait 40 hours, we will reapply. Okay? Soalan? Anything to submit? Ke nak submit at Kamis? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lihat sangat nak buat homework. Kan? <laughs> Buatlah, kau tu nak cuti dah minggu depan. Ke kau nak convo dah tak sabar-sabar. Ha, apa pergi kat Dewan tu? Tengah ramai orang tu. Bukan kita nak pergi main tembak-tembak tu ke? Why not? Oh, ada benda tak boleh. Ada benda tu tak boleh. <laughs> Nanti mati. <laughs> Alright, okay. Happy? Happy? Okay. We will have three or four more lectures. Oh, no, no. Two more lectures to finish the carbon cycle and then one more lecture atau chapter to, to to story about respiration and that's it. Habis. Kan? Itu pun macam muka dah biru lah kan? <laughs> okay. So, kalau dah ada, okay lah kot. So, I'll see you uh, macam ni. Why not on Thursday um, come here. Uh, kejap, kita pukul berapa? our lab lagi satu jadual tu is it is it pagi so we'll come pagi lah kot kat sini yep yeah to submit maybe to 9 lah sekejap je we will do it briefly 9 until around just before 10 yeah for you to submit or for you to tak tahu nak mangkang ni aku ke <laughs> kan ataupun nak create stories Kan? Cannot cannot do homework, uh, glass slippers missing, kan? step sisters very mean, kan? kan? I got panic attack because it's it's already midnight. And then tertinggal all the physio not at the palace. Hmm. Panic, panic, panic. Kasa, orang tertinggal kasa, kau tertinggal nota physio. Kau mana? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you on Thursday, okay? Kalau um, ada masa lagi untuk sama kan? <laughs> yeah. Dua je. Mana tadi? Bukan quiz. Quiz tu. Glossary tu tak ya. Glossary tu for you. Okay, but I need to make sure you have done it sebab aku nak tanya kau nanti. Uh, so dua je lah. Ha? Siap submit je lah. Ah, nak submit? Boleh je? Oh, dah ada orang submit. Yay. No, submit so that I can see benda semua. Ha? Ooh. Ooh. Ingat tak semua? Ingat tak? Ingat tak? Psychomotor berfungsi tak? Kan? Banyak ni. 
Tak apa, nanti after after your semester break, I will test your glossary. But I need to see first. No, I need to collect sebab nak ambil gambar. Nanti tak ada bukti uh, activity SCL. Uh, okay. You don't have to use this book. Kau tak suka kau boleh guna buku lain. Boleh je. You want to use papyrus paper pun okay. Okay, so I'll see you on Thursday. Right? Okay? Right. Ni tolong letak dalam bilik ni lah kot. So, kejap Amir tutup ni. Very easy kan? Your, your test in, dengan assignment. Sangat senang. Kau tak dapat A juga, something not right with you. Apa? Apa tu? That, that is the exam. That's your first test. That's your first test. Kau dah siap belum? Kenapa kau tak buat? Weh, buat. 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 Cepat. Aku tak kira. Buat. 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 Jawab. Show where is the answer. Kat mana? Oh, Tapi saya ada lah kertas ni diorang dulu tak ada. You need to do that. You need to do that. Screenshot je lah. Screenshot je. Ya, lepas tu bunti screenshot tu kau tepik tepi jawapan kau tu. Ah, kat sini, kat sini, kat sini. Ni kenapa punya Azlan ni hidup balik? Aku dah tutup kau dah. Tutup, tutup, tutup. Ah, gitu. Use your creativity. You know what I want. I want you to answer, then I want you to, to show me where is the answer. Okay, quiz saja. Itu, itu actually should be done after each lecture. Two quizzes, two exam. Two, two lah, test one. Two. Buat. Buat, buat. Okay, um, suruh 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 siapa ni? Habis lah. Tak sampai ni. Banyak laci dok mai tu. Lama ke? Tanya dalam tu. Siapa nak jumpa? Siapa nak? Tak nak. Ah, tak tahu dah. Tak nak jumpa pun nak buat apa? Collaboration tapi kalau tak ada kerja, kalau dia target orang from lah, macam Eliza. Eliza, aku tak ada kaitan ni. Eh, Eliza. Siapa tak lagi? Shazwan. Shazwan, Aku tak, benda benda-benda tu engkau nak collaborate dengan orang, kau tak tahu lagi orang tu panggil macam mana. Satu, lepas tu tak apa dah kalau kalau nak main main tak mau kalau rasa tak mau. Saya ada ini, aku dah cakap dengan Sarah, so hantar email ke dia kan. Aku nak kata nanti dia datang. So Ini ni mesti aku ya kan dia nak suruh aku join kan ni lupa tak aku jadi pengantar dia. <laughs> Oh, tak apa lah saya bayangkan aku macam macam tak salah sebab okay. sebab ya yeah, ya yeah, okey okey see you see you eh buat kau punya quiz tu ah uh, hantar <laughs> tak ada buat tolonglah buat aku rajin tu saya kau tak boleh rajin I need to have a file lah tu kalau benda ni Tak fine untuk collect assignment. I should have taken the... Oh, sorry.
Kejap, we need to have a meeting about Allium. Uh, uh, let me tengok sini je. Boleh. Panggil Akka nanti. Kau dia balik lah. Sekejap je. Because because uh, we need to be certain about something. Um... Uh. Walaupun minum ni. So boleh lah minum lagi kan? Kamu dah habis. Nanti boleh tak create a file? Paper file pun tak apa to dump all the question ni. Because I cannot throw away lagi sampai ISO tak settle. <laughs> to to uh, to in my notes. I forgot to bring the other bag. Tak apalah. Sana bila komputer ni nak plaster. <laughs> Kau biar aje. Ya je lah. Um Mana api? Balik dah? Tak. Macam mana dia balik? Mana tahu? Ah, benda. Panggil-panggil Afiq. Apa-apa dah. Eh, pasang lah lah. Cepat, ya. 